Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. One, one particular football match that is probably one of the biggest regrets of your football career is the Champions League final um, against Barcelona. Unfortunately, a 2-1 loss. Um, I just want to talk about so for me, as a goalkeeper, you know, I'm, I remember watching that game and Jens Lehmann getting sent off early on in the game as well, 20th yeah. minute. He gets sent off um, and I'm, I'm absolutely gutted for him. You've got to think about this on a human level and yeah. he has played probably his whole career wanting to get to a Champions League final and it lasts 20 minute long for him. Do you remember back to that day just how gutted he was when he, had to, when he came off the pitch? you were so angry or disappointed yourself. So you're like, I don't think it, all you saw was the floor. Yeah. But of course, Jens was on, on a different level of disappointment. And uh, But he had been so amazing the whole year for us and in the Champions League specifically that we respected him so much. There was no, no one would say a word or yeah, like, no you blame. know, blame, not even close to it. It was just like, you're phenomenal. Yeah. A mistake happens. And we tried to fight for it, to fix it for him. Yeah. We didn't achieve it. Uh, but I think for us, it was more... I know everybody outside maybe didn't feel... We felt we were better than Barcelona. Yeah. So we were like, we're going to win this. We walked into that. We're like, they are great offensively. We're great offensively. But we felt we're better defensively than they are. So we're like, as long as this becomes a proper fight, we'll have it. So for me, it was a shock to the system not to win the game. Um, like you say, 20 mi 20th minute, the wind gets taken right out of your sails. Like everybody's expecting Arsenal to do well in this game. When that happens and you know that they're going to have to make a tactical substitution, you, like I say, somebody is going to have to come off and it's normally going to be an offensive player, yeah. right? So at this moment in time, are you all kind of looking at each other thinking, who's it going to be? Did you know? So unfortunately for Robert Perez, yeah. he was the guy that had to come off. He was the one that got substituted for Manuel Almunia to come on the pitch. Did you kind of know it was going to be him or was you half worried for yourself as well? So we had actually changed the system for that Champions League um, that year. So we played 4 through 3 for the first time and I played central midfield in the three. So I did think that he probably would pick one of the wingers yeah. that would go. And Robert was fantastic offensively, unbelievable. But sometimes maybe then his tracking back and stuff wasn't the strongest. And you need that when you lose a man. So you probably thought, oh, he probably will take Robert, even if that's obviously awful for him. Not that he was not a yeah. great football player, just tactically what they would do. Oh, what was what was Robert like? Can you remember? Can you remember? Because that is that's almost being sent off is one thing. But then when it's taken out of your hands and somebody else takes you off the pitch, you must be thinking, oh, come on, please. Yeah, no, obviously he was devastated. It's everybody's dream. And we, maybe it sounds cocky. I don't mean it in a cocky way. We, we probably felt that we underperformed for quite a few seasons yeah. in the Champions League. So we're finally here. And then, like you say, that you Rob get hooked after 20 minutes. That yeah. must be... Um, Quite devastating. What can you remember for the rest of that game then? So obviously Sol Campbell scored late in the first half. You go in 1-0 up at half time. Um, and then unfortunately, I think it was the 75th and 80th minute, Barcelona scored their goals to, to win on the game. Um, do you remember just sort of all sort of hands to the pump, working hard with 10 men? Like I said, like the, our approach, or like we felt like we'll beat them. Like I wasn't worried at all before the game, but getting one man down against Barcelona, probably the worst team oh. in the world to like... Because they can play the possession yeah. game. So you knew, like, Oof, we're going to go for a run here. And I thought we did really well. I think uh, Thierry had a uh, one against one with their keeper at one stage, one's mm -hmm. one nil. So we felt we're in it. Uh, then obviously, like, they wore us down in the end and they got, then if we saw offside and won a goal. So not, but you, ha you have these memories. But I have a fun memories in the memory in the end. I think Arsene just screamed to me, but we couldn't get the ball in the end when they were winning 2 1, but we had always had to score. It's like, He's like screamed to me, like, get that ball and just go for it. Just dribble for it. I was like, okay, boss, but I need to get it first. I'm trying, honestly, I'm trying. <laughs> but um, now it's, it was, for me, that's still today my biggest disappointment in my career. I felt with that team we had, we should have won it. And I often say, like, when you meet players, let's say old players, Real Madrid or Barcelona now when you're retired, and they often say, like, oh, that you didn't win with that team. I Criminal. don't understand. That hurts even more. Oh, yeah, cheers. Uh, don't remind me. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but that, that's a tough one. But 
they were better than us on that day yeah. and uh, they played well. Let me, can I quickly, before we uh, move on, let me, can I just name the team sheet for that day for the Arsenal team? So, Jens Lehmann in goal, you got Abue, Colo Torre, Sol Campbell, Ashley Cole, Robert Perez, uh, Gilberto Silva, Cesc Fabregas, Alexander Schleb. <laughs> Remember Alexander Schleb? He was yeah, at Birmingham. He came, in, he came to Birmingham for a bit, actually. Uh, yourself, uh, Thierry Henry on the bench. You've got Manuel Amunia, Philip Senderos, Gale, Clichy, um, Dennis Bergkamp, Robin Van Persie, Jose Antonio Reyes and Matteo Flamini. What a squad that is, mate. It was a nice team. Yeah. <laughs> what Thank was, you. What was training like with them? Like? I'm sure when you do, we were, again, we were talking about it earlier, rondos and the boxes and little possession, things like that. Was it Was, was the quality absolutely on fire? I would say so. Uh, we we talk about the rondos. We would have certain groups. You always so we have the the Dutch, yeah. the like bit foreign. We were in one group. Then you had the English group over there, and it was we had the Brazilians as well in ours. Oof. And so I would say, yeah, you didn't want to get stuck in that uh, in the middle. That took some time. Which, to get which out group of. was the best? Which group? The English group or the uh, or the foreign foreign group? Yes, yeah, so you had the French because there were quite a fo- few of them. Yeah. So I was obviously in that foreign group. I've said I was obviously the best. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was it telling us the other day that the, it's the Spanish? Was it you saying yeah. the Spanish rondos? You do not want to go anywhere near. Yeah, well, we at uh, Watford we had a big Spanish contingency. We had sort of seven or eight Spanish players, and they were all very technical gifted players um, and like I say every day they would do the boxes every day they would do the rondo and the goalies would always join in and one goalie could go in with the Spanish lot and one goalie would go in with like the English lot basically the okay, English yeah. and rest of the world lot and as a senior goalie I would be pushing the other goalie into the Spanish lot because <laughs> if you're in the middle of the Spanish rondo you are getting made to look an absolute fool you're getting nutmegged you're getting olayed and you're staying inside running around like yeah. a madman honestly it's horrible because so. you go did you have the rules as well when you how do you get nutmeg? You stay double. Yeah, double. So you're in again. Yeah. Like you're three, again. four different yeah. nutmegs. Yeah. You're in there. Twenty for a while. passes or a nutmeg is a, you have to stay in one more time. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's brutal. And you can add that on as much as, as you much want. As much as you want. It can yeah. accumulate, accumulate. And like I say, when you're a goalie, you're shifting yourself all around the place. It's not the Are one. Are these you know. the kind of things in training that the players enjoy the most, or would they be? Would it be like a small-sided game? What, what's the kind of highlight of training for you, Freddie? So that was the warm-up. Certain days. Yeah, it was mostly. Um, Match day minus one was yeah. the, we start with to have a laugh because everybody's just excuse me after a while like we can get someone you like we know that some of them always in the middle and you, you obviously take the mic, mic out of them <laughs> and like stuff so it's a good laugh to get the tension off I would say sure. for the game tomorrow and some are worried are they going to be in a team or not so that's a good yeah. start of it uh, but personally I I no I I loved um, when you played four against four three against three we had oh, competitions yeah. like that I could die for that that was the that six was sides were brilliant weren't they thanks everybody for watching we hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. if you would like to watch the full episode it is now available exclusively on spotify for free